There we go. So Fernando? Yeah. So yeah, so what do you think happens after we die? What's your belief about that? Um, okay, well I'm Catholic, but mm -hmm. uh, I grew up Catholic and uh, I'm not uh, religious as much anymore. Um, by choice or just neglect? By choice. Or, by yeah. choice. Um, okay. But uh, I, I, I don't think anything happens, uh, really. I mean, I think it just it lights out. That's it. Okay. Do you, uh, do you think you have a soul? Because that's the big question, right? Like, do we have yeah. a part of us that, that goes beyond our body? Yeah, saying, I, I, I think there's dies. something in there, but uh, <laughs> and, and everybody, you know, but um, and um, along with not believing that uh, you have existence after we die, right? Yeah. Would you say do you, would you say you believe in God or a? I believe that there's there's a higher power. Yeah. I, I do think so. Yeah. I think there's somebody up there. That's, so you do believe there's like a spiritual realm, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like, something like that, you know. Like I a mean, different realm than the physical world, right? Yeah, it, it could be. Yeah. It could be. What, would you say you uh, came to this belief that you just die, or did you always believe it, or was there something in particular I, I that made came, you start? I, I came about it maybe like you know, 15 years ago, maybe. Uh-huh. Uh, I kind of like just drifted away from the church. And yeah, so it kind of came along with, with mm -hmm. yeah. Would you, you seem like a person who likes life. Would you want eternal life if it was a possibility? You know, I mean, that's that's the great hope of Catholicism, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not Catholic, but I'm Christian. You know, it's like like the, the hope that we can continue to exist after we die. Maybe not here on this earth. And mm -hmm. a lot of people have good reason for not wanting to continue living here, but yeah. but uh, to, to continue eternal life. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you would hope that there's something yeah. that you could do that and, and, and live forever. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem that when, way. When you think of God, Fernando, do you think of a, a being that you could have a relationship with, or is God more, like, impersonal? You know what I mean? Like a higher power, you are saying, like a higher power. Uh, I, I think it's more of a higher power. I think... I think uh, I mean, I, I would think you could have a relationship with him, but uh, yeah, because that's because that's what the Bible does teach, you know. And Catholicism too. I mean, they mm -hmm. teach you. You grew up learning the Lord's Prayer, right? Right. And Jesus said, "When you pray to God, pray our Father in heaven." Mm -hmm. Which, if He's our Father, then we could have a, you know, a relationship with, you know, with God. Right. Kind of like a child and a father, you know. And, like we don't know, he's he's more wise than us. He knows more than us, you know. But we could have a relationship, and so that's that's kind of like what you grew up in, but you don't believe anymore. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, I want to respect your time, but um, just to say, if God, if your Creator could be more than a higher power, more some more than some impersonal force, if He's actually, you know kind of like our spiritual our heavenly father then it would be natural to want eternal life with him see what i'm saying yeah, yeah. whereas if he's just an impersonal force then it's like yeah you know it's like who, who cares about that right right, right. Mm -hmm. and so so maybe i'm just wondering maybe one of the reasons you've kind of given up on this idea of eternal life is there's really no nothing to look forward to with it you know mm -hmm. so so like for me I, I think about the more I find out about the world from scientists and how big the universe is and you know all the details of it it's like it's it's eternally it's it's infinitely there's I could never know enough about e creation right, right. And so if God is the maker of all that, then I could never know enough about God, right. you know? Like there would be no boredom in heaven. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And so so here we have a creator that wants us to be in a relationship with him. Jesus came to make a way for that to happen and uh, wants us to relate to him as a, our heavenly father mm -hmm. and, uh, and offers us eternal life, you know? Yeah. So... I don't know. I just want to give you some food for thought. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what yeah, would so. what would be like the main thing that would keep you from wanting a relationship with God? 
because that's that's the hope of heaven. A lot of people think, oh, heaven's about like flying around like an angel with wings or something right, like right. that. The hope is to be in a right relationship with our Creator forever. Mm-hmm. You know, to to be able to relate to God forever in a, in a good way. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, th- for me to go, uh, th- what would I want? I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Because that's that's what Jesus offered was like right. eternal life, and and you know to be able the the problem that the thing that comes between us and God is our sins. You know the things that we do against His rules. Like if you ever told a lie, no, yeah. or or stolen anything, I I have. I I mean that's mm-hmm. a hard question to ask someone a stranger, right? Right. But uh, but you know I've I've lied. I've stolen. I've broken all of the Ten Commandments in some way. You know, how can I ever even consider having a relationship with God? And yet God reaches out to me and he's offering eternal life. Right. You know, he's making the move of, you know, he loves, he loves you, right. you know, and that's good news. You know, yeah. the bad news is we've done things to offend God, you know, that we've committed sins, we've broken his laws. But the good news is. You've heard you've heard it said like God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, yeah. mm-hmm. that whosoever believes in Him shall have eternal life. You know, right. so so it's good news. I'd like you to consider today. Yeah, Does that yeah. sound okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to turn this camera off. Mm-hmm. <laughs>